here's the life fill into and I'm here to tell about the tracker curve fill. Tracker curve fill is something we're announcing very shortly. She's a preview where we're trying to get the bugs from a really, really higher number down to manageable states. So basically we're aiming at having only two open <clears throat> hundred open bugs and get every single patch revealed. And for that, we're basically taking all the existing 2,000 bugs that are open right now in the patches, make sure they're all properly retriged. And this is going to be a process where all the higher developers for the Blender Foundation are going to be working on. Volunteers, are, as always, are welcome. And we're hoping to start this today, in the week before Christmas. So we can have more chill time throughout the holidays to see if that works, to make some adjustments. But keep an eye on the official channels. We're about to push these changes soon. Sega is doing the final database migration adjustments and his sparkling joy of being able to have you know everything in place. So that's about it. The idea is really to be more strict on how we track the bugs to really have a really good definition of what a bug is and what is then a non-issue where bug is simply something we work on that's on our roadmap and not something that we know is a limitation but no one's going to work on. So I try to be a little, bit, a little bit more fair to people reporting something so they know if something's going to be worked on or not. So keep an eye on the on our community channels in our official development channels and hopefully in one month two months in some time down the line we can announce that the curfew is over and we got back uh, control and management of the bug and patch tracker bye bye and this is my office hey sandra